Americans are packing their bags this morning for a long holiday weekend. More than 100 million people are hitting the roads, rails, or sky to get to their destinations. It is the seventh straight year of holiday travel growth. More than 90% of travelers will drive. The falling price of gas makes that a popular option. The national average could drop even lower, below $2 a gallon by Christmas. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg is here with his insider secrets. Peter, good morning. Insider secrets, you got it. 91 million people on the road this holiday season. Uh, yeah, gas at a seven-year low, and the two bad days to drive today. Yeah, okay. And because Christmas and New Year's fall on a Friday, yeah. the Sunday after New Year's, January 3rd, do not drive on that Sunday if you can. The best day to drive to come back, New Year's Day itself, because everybody else is just recovering. Right. What about driving on Christmas Eve? Well, you know what? It's not a bad idea this year because everybody's trying to get out yesterday and today. So it might be a little bit lighter tomorrow. Let's talk okay. about flying. So, so many people are flying. You say if you get to the airport early, don't go to the departure level. Exactly. If you're leaving on an early morning flight, and you should leave on an early morning flight at all times. Yeah. And you have an airport that has an upstairs or a downstairs, the upstairs departure level, that's a zoo. Don't go there. If it's an early morning flight, have your friends or your taxi drop you off at the arrivals level because there's nobody arriving at 7 o'clock in the morning. You'll save at least 10 to 15 minutes in traffic. Can you put your ticket from down there? Have I just no, you just take the escalator upstairs, oh. but you're not stuck in the traffic just trying to you get know, to like, the curb. You know, trying to get to the right, curb. Right, exactly. Right. I do that when I get picked up. Do it reverse. You reverse. reverse. Have yeah. the people drive, pick you up in departures because yeah. yeah. there's nobody yeah. there. Little secret Arrivals trip. area is crazy at that point with the police, the dogs, nobody allowed to even park to pick anybody up. Go okay, I had this question myself. What about gifts, wrapped gifts? Can you bring those through the security screen? Well, you can, but I don't suggest it because the TSA is taking extra special care this year. They will probably open those gifts, especially if they have oh. any concern at all. One thing you also want to do is when you pack your bags, take a digital photograph of everything you packed in that bag especially if they're gifts, because luggage thefts are a huge high at this time of the year. Talking about the TSA taking extra special care, they're changing their screening protocols, requiring everyone to go through scanners now. How much additional delay do you think that's likely to cause? Well, they're not requiring the people in pre-check to go through scanners most of the time, but the big body scanners, the answer is yes. And initially there will be delays because there are a lot of people who don't want to go. They want to opt out. That will start conversations, which may lead to arguments. So be prepared for some longer lines. What about food? Pies, snacks for your kid, those that's a lot of, you know, the well, holiday. The three one one rules are still confusing. The TSA determines jelly and jam and peanut butter and applesauce to be liquids. So if you're traveling with your ah. kids, that PBJ sandwich may be a problem. Come that pecan, on. yes, that, that may be determined as a liquid because we've had situations that where they do a strict interpretation yeah. of those 3 one rules. So better get the PBJ after you clear security. Okay, so when you're trying to get your luggage from baggage claim, aside from getting frustrated that it's taking so long, you have advice for people. Well, most people will spend hours with their eyes transfixed on the carousel, hoping against hope that their bags are actually on the same flight they were. Yeah. But when you get that bag, you're so happy to see it. What do you do? You grab it and you run away. No. Take an extra two minutes, open that bag right there at the carousel. People who steal luggage don't steal luggage, they steal items, items from the luggage. Yep. And you better find out right then and there. Just real quick, what's your favorite app in terms of checking travel? Well, there are a flight? couple. One is called Flight View, which gives you detailed tracking on the flights. Mm -hmm. And the other one, which I really love, is called Just Land. And it tells your friends when to leave to pick you up. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. That is smart. about time for that one. Peter Greenberg, thank you. You got it.